We in the building. We in the building. Yo, it's your boy JS1 and Mr. Wrong. So <laughs> wrong. So wrong. Thank you, J. Cole, for tripping over your own lip. That's that, that's I'm that's the only reason why I came here today is to tell you that I'm right and the world now sees it. Wait, what do you mean? What you talking about? Going, bro, that's sadness, bro. Sadness. J. Cole drops a new project. And in this new project comes the disc record we've been waiting on, plus a whole bunch of jabs and, and random stuff. Now, this guy, Jay Hill, was like, yo, Kendrick is trash. J. Cole's going to murder it. Oh, there's the best. He's going to prove it. Came out with the disc record. Man, that was fluff. Fluff. He all, Only thing he kept saying is, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, nigga. He already, yo, don't, don't come at me, bro. He already came at you. He, the shots has already been fired. You ducking behind the car with the pistol talking about, don't make me shoot you, nigga. He already started shooting. Do your thing. What are we waiting on? Jesus to come back? Like, come on, bro. That wasn't even a real disc record. That was the saddest display I've seen in a decade from one of the biggest artists in the game. Did we, did we listen to the same song? You we did to seven minute drill, oh, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I did listen to seven minutes five times back to back to back because I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing on I a project believe. might delete later, right? Yep. And he should delete it. He should delete it right now. He shouldn't delete it later. He should delete that right. motherfucker right now. All right. So let's start because I listen to it a lot as well, right? Okay. All right. I'm ready to go. First and foremost. First and foremost. I, even have a, I even have a breakdown. So like I, whenever you're ready. Listen, to I had the same. I had the same sentiments when I first heard it. So I'll give okay. you that. Right? All right. When I first heard it, just like everybody else in the media, I didn't like the tone. I didn't understand mm -hmm. it. I thought it was too friendly. Even now, I think it was a little bit too friendly. I get that. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. upset with that at all. I'm not upset. I'm mm -hmm. not upset with that. Uh, that uh, analogy or uh, perception at all. Right? Mm -hmm. What I will say, if we're talking about disses, I feel like mm -hmm. in the seven minute drill, he dissed Kendrick Lamar very directly. Mm -hmm. Right, he threw mad jabs and direct stabs at him. Right now, if you look at where it started, at, not even where it started at, but if you look at the last verse that Kendrick Lamar put out on the mm -hmm. uh, what was it like that mm -hmm. song? Mm -hmm. What did he really say about J. Cole, honestly? He didn't really say nothing. I mean, it wasn't disrespectful, but it was yo, it's just big me, it ain't no big That's three. All he said, and J. That's Cole came back with, I mean. Do you want to play it now? What do he say? He said, bro, niggas, he's like, niggas, he said, niggas want attention. Mm -hmm. You know, it come with extensions, right? So mm -hmm. he, he said, you drop what? Uh, four songs in like how many years I can divide yeah, the play yeah. on Jay-Z with Renegade. Like, right. like he, he, he said so many things that was directed to Kendrick Lamar. So at first I get, I understand what people saying, like the tone, I get it. Cause he keep calling him his friend. I don't want to hear that in beef. Like, I don't want to hear that. You keep calling. Like, even a, a song that um I think uh J. Cole had dropped a while ago, he was like, I keep extending the... uh No, he didn't say it dropped a while ago. It was on the same project. He like, I keep mm -hmm. extending the uh the olive branch and people declining it. So you already know that people don't want the olive branch. So put it down. Break it. Throw that shit away. I get that. <laughs> right. I get it. Like, I'm, let's I'm, get I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that, 100%. But what I will say is we can't just knock this as a diss record because it was very direct and it was some disrespect in there. All right, cool. I, 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 anything else you want to add before I, before I, you know what I mean? Anything else you want to oh, throw out? All right. In the, in the, in the, in the pantheon of disc records, excuse me, in the, in the catalog of disc records that have come out in the history of hip hop, do you really feel like this stands up against, you know, Ether versus, you know, whatever, or, or Eminem versus everybody? You know what I mean? Like, this is the probably one of the weakest representations of a disc record I've ever seen, ever. So I get that. You're right. It doesn't stand mm -hmm. up for the locks and 50 cent. It doesn't stand up for even 50 okay, cent and Ja Rule. Don't stand up for, right. for Nas and Jay-Z or Jay-Z when he dropped. It, it doesn't. I get that. You're 100% mm -hmm. right. However, what I'm saying is, what did, what did he have to, to respond to? All I'm saying is, mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar came out the gate. Some would say cloud chasing, right? And mm -hmm. J. Cole came up. Me personally, mm -hmm. I don't care for the buddy-buddy thing. I don't. So I get mm -hmm. that. But I kind of like the tone of it because it's giving like, bro, I'm the shit. I got to waste my time to come talk to you niggas. Let me show y'all what's up. I personally like that. I, I That sounds cool. And I, I love the spin. The spin is great. You should definitely be on this PR team. Yo, yo, Dreamville, get this guy on the team. All right. 
you can't come out and say, I'm number one, I'm that guy. And yo, can't, and this is J. Cole making a statement. I'm him. There's nobody above me. There is a big three, but yo, I'm really that one. He's He is undeniably said it in a bunch of records. Somebody throws a shot at you and then you go, well, why I got to talk to y'all niggas? No, nigga, because you said you was the number one and one of the big three that you saying is just as big or as relevant as I am says something to you saying, no, nigga, you're not the number one. I'm the number one. That means these is fighting words. Come outside, put the fists up and let's do this. So let's put all of that bull crap you just said to the side and said, he said he's ready to fight for his position. Don't tell me you about to come out the gate, come out the gate. That's the point. Now, I will say he did take some solid jabs at him. I'm not, I'm not that. And yes, the tone could have been a, a cool way to approach it, but that's some hog wash. But bro, so, wait, what are we comparing it to? What did Kendrick Lamar come? What, Kendrick Lamar ain't give us nothing for J. Cole just yet. So what are we talking about? We can't just slander my man yet. Like I'm not, I'm I'm slandering him because your approach should be we not playing no games. No, Yo, I it that. Been, the whole Dreamville should have came out. Yo, there, there should have been a whole Dreamville mixtape of F Kendrick Lamar and his cousin and his baby mama and all them other. I'm not mad at that. When we're talking about this and that's how it should be. I feel the yeah. same way. All I'm yeah. saying is why everybody keep trying to slight this song like it wasn't a diss. It was a direct stab. What did he say? I, I, I think he said, um, he was like, <laughs> now we're he was like he's still doing shows, but he fell off like this. Everything he's been talking, he's talking directly to Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar no. said, forget a big three, it's just big me. That's all mm -hmm. he said. So we're comparing a verse to a song. I think the song wins. If, it, if we're talking battle. If we're talking better. All right, all right. No, first of all, and let's stop this. Y'all, y'all generation is so quick to say somebody won something. Nobody won nothing because we haven't gotten a response from Kendrick. Oh, what now, are you talking about then? We we need to wait on that. But I'm just telling you the record I heard was Garbino. How was it? Was, it gar so what made what made it garbage? No, nah, it just didn't feel like a diss record. It wasn't hard. And then what? Yes, he took some jet. Yo, 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 anybody. Pull up the, the lyrics. Pull up the lyrics. Pull up the no, lyrics. no, you ain't got to do that. I could just throw this nigga on the screen. Throw him. Throw that video up. So what are we saying that is, is not a good diss then? Why is it not a good diss? Please give shout me out to Shout out to Dequita Jones. Um, There's not a lot of double entendres, triple entendres. The, the presentation wasn't all that. And it wasn't like wordplay like dope ass wordplay shit bro it was just basic he just saying basic shit and you attacking a nigga catalog i'm like i mean yeah cool oh yo you hit your prime and i'm just getting the mind what that got to do with anything <laughs> like I, i'm still trying to understand why is that why is that such a thing why is everybody so jumping on the fact that let's just be all right can we agree who got more classic albums I'm not a big um, Kendrick Lamar fan, so, but, but well, it, well, in in hip hop, if we talking about hip hop, of course, Kendrick Lamar has more classic hip albums. To pick up okay. Butterfly, uh, what is it? Good Kid, Mad City. I personally <laughs> don't, I don't like to pick up Butterfly. I think it's a snooze fest. So when, when, when J Cole is saying, "Yo, what is it? Your second project, put niggas to sleep." I'm like, thank God somebody's saying it, because when I'm saying it, everybody say I'm crazy. So in mm -hmm. my mind. I know it might not be the the most uh I don't know out the box lyrics that you gotta Google and things like that, but because it hit home and I can understand it, I was just talking to Wayno about this. A lot of times when Kendrick Lamar is saying these bars, it's like, what is he talking about? I gotta go back, I gotta go to the dictionary, I gotta Google what the fuck he's saying. And I get that. Some <laughs> part of that is nostalgic and it makes you it make it makes it dope for for lyrics, right? But it's like mm -hmm. if I can't understand it, I don't want to hear it. J. Cole gives you very simplistic bars that I get, right? He's like, yo, your first album was a classic. Right, he was like, your third one was magic, whatever. The, the, the second one put niggas to sleep, and I was like, yo, thank God somebody said it, because when I say, yo, I think I'm crazy. Even all the Kendrick Lamar friends hit me like, yo, you crazy, bro. To put butterflies fire, I'm like, bro, I try to listen and I can't get through it. I can, mm -hmm. I can acknowledge that it's a great project. I can acknowledge mm -hmm. that it's a classic, but also mm -hmm. when we talk about projects, we can't ignore what was going on at the time, right? Like we can't ignore mm -hmm. these things. So like, that also plays into the, the part of why something, something is a classic. So mm -hmm. to the to, to the world, yeah, it's a classic. To me, eh, I really don't like it. And I personally like every J. Cole project better than every single thing that Kendrick Lamar dropped. Me personally, that's my personality. Um, uh, What was it? Uh, Sideline Story. I, th I thought it was great. I loved it. Uh, uh, there's a few songs in it I like. Born Center, amazing. Um, What came at the Born Center? Uh, 
for 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 your eyes only maybe um kod uh forest hill drive was a classic so if we want to say i hear a, a lot of the media saying j cole technically only has one classic album that's to their perception for me um, what would what would that classic album be would that be forest hill drive or kod forest, it would be forest hill drive yeah, i would I, agree with that i think born center was a classic that that yeah. was a great album to me mm. Mm -hmm. To me, but maybe oh. not everybody. And then when we look at the numbers, every time J. Cole dropped, he dropped at number one. I get it. Kendrick Lamar, I was looking at the numbers, and Kendrick Lamar started to go crazy. Like his first album wasn't that crazy when it came to numbers, but Good mm -hmm. Kid Mad City, I think it it, it, it it sold like two plus million. Then right at the like his numbers is, is he got some some stellar numbers. I get that. It's just I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of it. That's it. Yeah. I'm excited to see where this goes i really just want to come and fuck with you on this but what i want people to do is get in the comments right now and tell us who you voting for who we voting for are we going for kendrick or are we going for cole i want to see what the numbers stack up i want to see what the j hill network lovers the ones that love this network i want to know where y'all numbers is at all right what we got what we got let me let me let me because you said oh he want to keep going okay i'm with you on this i'm just saying i'm just saying you said you didn't like the lyrics, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look at it. You know, I can't read. Light work, like it's PWC. We got to Google that, all right? I mean, I don't know what PWC is. It's exactly. a cold world. Keep the heat up under my seat. I got a phone call that says, somebody dissing. You want some attention? They come with extensions. He said, my dog, like, say the word. He on bullshit. What, 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 your man already broke this down. But what I, another thing he, he didn't break down is, um, I was trying to write why I got here off of bars not too comfortable. He said that. He spoke on that. Funny mm -hmm. thing. Funny thing about a bitch, I don't even want the prestige. Fuck the Grammys, cause these crackers ain't never do nothing for me. Of course, look, Krenzy Lamar got all the Grammys from from his projects. We get that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, 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 I was looking for something. He averaged in one heart. I don't think he spoke one. Of this. He averaged in one heart verse like every thirty months or something, right? That's a playoff. This is you said there's no double entendres. This is a double entendre, right? He is a playoff of Jay Z Renegade when he was talking about Nas, right? He was like he dropped one good something. I can divide, right? That's a put yeah. for that. This is a double entendre. He said, he said it's not a lot of that double entendre. This is a double entendre, no? All right, we got one. All right, let's go. Um, uh, this this Nino thing is a double entendre. Mm -hmm. No, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's a cold. This is a, all of these things are double entendres. What are you talking about? It's a cold world. Keep the heat under my seat. Like, that's a, that's a, I was at a double J. entendre. J. Cole, what? It's a cold world. J. Cole, he always says cold world. That's that's that's, that's a double entendre. I can nah, it. I can it. Right there for himself. But that don't count because he say that shit all the time. So that ain't really all that dope. Oh my god. I'm not all that original. But <clears throat> I said, feel it's, you a, it's 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 over for this rap cap. We official cap pillar. Bro, come on, bro. Y'all niggas is wild and y'all said it's not a good uh, prize. It's not a good verse. Uh, bro, he said, yo, he said. He said, "My guys, stat fill, come, bro. Why are you if talking? This, if bro. this is you stirred up, brother, I am happy for you, bro. That the shit, that shit did not impress me that much. It's over for that cap. We official cap pillars two six. We don't at niggas. We get at niggas. Shoot a nigga light salt. Yeah, my dog stat fillers. What are you? This is hip hop. Yeah, cool. and we're gonna talk about if we're gonna talk about the tone. I get that. I'm not upset with that. But we're not gonna say he's not saying you know, nothing in this song. No." Like, and I hate to do this because I don't really like bringing other niggas into the game, but like, if we was to go listen to a Jada Kiss, no, verse, we're not talking about Jada Kiss. We're talking about J. Exactly. Cole and 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 and, exactly. and Kendrick Lamar. We're not, we're not comparing the bar to where people are at, either below or above or at the bar. No, we're just gonna talk about his weak little rhymes, like he just did something cool. We're talking about the niggas that established what ill shit is, what the stank face is when niggas going. Mm! Like this don't make me go. Mm. Why are it we make comparing J Cole to anybody else? We're talking about J Cole and Kendrick Lamar. He says he's number one in the game. He says he's the best lyricist. So for you to be the best, you need to take out the but best. Also talking about right now, and he's in his prime. We bro, we'll be crazy if we ignore that he's not. In, he's every no, he every is. feature he's killed. Literally every feature. I've never argued whether or not J Cole is in his prime. I'm arguing whether or not the nigga can be king. And to be king, you got to take down all the players on the board. That's the way you got to be king, nigga. Like, Jay, when Jay was at his height and he was running the game, guess what he was doing? Taking niggas out. And bro, he bro. took square out. Jay, bro, bro. 
I'm with you. I'm with you. Calm down. I don't want you to fall out. No, I'm, I'm just saying, to- bro, I don't. <laughs> I wasn't old enough to remember that time, but I'm assuming Jay Z mm-hmm. wasn't just disrespecting KRS One. Jay Z wasn't just disrespecting the niggas that came before him. So to mm-hmm. say to say J Cole got to be number one to because he got to demolish everybody that came before him don't make no sense because all everybody everybody had a king before them. So why would you compare him to the people that? Mm-hmm. I can sadly say, I'm gonna stop eating at this point. I'm sorry. What I can sadly say. As Jay outwrapped the shit out of uh, KRS One, we already established that. Okay. Can bro. can J- uh, you know? I mean, not J Cole. Jay Z could outwrap KRS One. Can J Cole outwrap Jadakiss? Let's put this record and this record on, and that's why this shit is so important. That's why, yo, when you talk about real hip hop heads, bro, real hip hop heads, we are looking at the entire game. We're not just looking out. What the new kid is doing right now and saying, no, yo, it's all good. Like, no, nah, nigga, the way we came up in the game, we had to do better than the last niggas. We had to fucking out. We had to kill them niggas and do it bigger and better. So why is it now y'all want to change the rules of the game just so y'all could be what? Yo, you, he can still be dope for y'all. He can be relevant for y'all. He can be cool for y'all. So but- J. Cole is not the best rap- lyricist rapper right now in, in this hip hop time right now. Are you really having this discussion? I'm Come asking on. you. It's to be proven. This is the reason. No, that's the reason why this is exciting. This that's the exact reason why this is exciting. Because we want to see the results of the battles, the songs. All right, we've already had the song battle. Niggas done put hits out to see who got bigger numbers, who got the flyers look. Cool. We done did that. Now it's all about the battle. That's why this is important. If you guys can win the battle, you become that nigga. So right now, Jake O has put out something that we don't think is the best. And we expected high, we had high, high hopes for J. Cole's response. Even me, even I was like, I knew Cole was gonna come hard. But all I'm like, saying is I think I think the expectations aren't fair because wh- why why aren't we giving the same everything you said? Why weren't you saying that about Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar That's keeps right. dropping he, he keeps, came up in that trip. That bro, control- what okay, bring up the lyric. If we had to if we had to compare lyric by lyric, what did Kendrick Lamar say that was so crazy about J. Cole? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. All right. So he didn't say, but what you're trying to say is because he didn't. Post. I'm not moving it. Hope. Well, I want you. Let me finish the sentence before you say I'm moving the goalpost. We're talking about who can spit hot lyric, nigga. Who gonna present dope ass verses and kill shit? Did Kendrick Lamar go at him specifically for a whole verse? No. But that's not the point of the discussion. The point of the discussion is who's the better lyricist is gonna come crazy on the record. Now he did one. He did one or two bars to J Cole. Cool. J. Cole responded. Guess what Kendrick has to do now? He's on the clock. We all going to expect that if Kendrick flubs this, I'm going to be the first to be like, yo, nigga, he fucked that shit up, bro. He had opportunity to really kill it, and he didn't. So, I, like, yo. I don't agree, because even you said this, and we can ask the chat if you want. Even you said mm-hmm. this. This mm-hmm. is not a round, right? Kendrick mm-hmm. Lamar threw some bait out there. J. Cole mm-hmm. threw some bait out there. Now, if mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar respond, and then J. Cole respond, we can judge that. I don't think it's fair to judge I don't think it's fair to judge. I will allow that. I allow that. Okay, we can do that. I'm with you on that. I so, will agree. So, and all I'm saying is the bait, right? Hypothetically, uh, air quotes, mm-hmm. the bait that they both threw out there. I thought J Cole bait was better. Yeah, the tone. We don't want to hear the friend buddy buddy shit. I don't want to hear that shit either. I don't want to hear. I don't want to diss him. Shut up. It's too late. We here now. Like, mm-hmm. like that's like niggas mm-hmm. been in the hood. I'm like, I don't want to fight. You can get your ass whipped. I get that. I ain't tripping about none of that. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. if we're talking about both of the bait records that they both dropped. I like J. Cole's better because of the lyrics. I think the, the lyrics are, are clear, cut, concise about Kendrick Lamar. You don't have to guess everything he says about Kendrick Lamar. He dropped one hit every 30 months or something. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, everything that J. Cole is talking about is directed to Kendrick Lamar. And I feel like we want to be technical. If you judge Kendrick Lamar's verse like we're judging J. Cole verse, I think Kendrick, I think J. Cole win because Kendrick Lamar ain't saying nothing crazy. He just said, with a big three, F a big three, it's just big me. Okay, what was so special about Kendrick Lamar yeah, verse? Yeah, yeah. We ignoring the rest of the verse, but what it's cool. was so special That's about Kendrick Lamar special. verse? I don't want to go back over every line on the joint, bro. I didn't want to go over every line on the on the code. Okay. How are we gonna discuss this? We don't go if if if, if you want to. No, if you want to give you if you want to give your opinion about how it's not good compared to all, all these right. others, we gotta all prove right. it. No, you, you want to go bar for bar? Let's go bar for bar. I'm just this saying is, we gotta prove it. We don't have to. If you want to move on, we can move on. I'm just I'm, saying. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling. I, actually, I was like, bro, we on we 25 minutes in on on. All right, come on, on you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> but I will say, Jay, 
Impressive, sir. Im- impressive defense. You haven't sold me yet, but it's impressive. So what do you and think about the did you, listen, did you listen to the whole project? Yeah. Yes. Yo, the joint where Ab sold. Now, this is vicious. And I will say this because I didn't even think about this until Joe said it. Yo, getting Ab sold and Daylight on a record is some diabolical shit. <laughs> and I didn't pick up on it until later because that's that's his man's. That's Kendrick's man's. How you got your Kendrick's man on an album and you, y'all supposed to be beefing? That's crazy. But um, the ver- the dope, the rhymes was dope. I still don't see what niggas see in bars. I apologize, bars, bro. I love you, my guy. Like, I'm quite sure you're a nice guy, wonderful person. But yo, your albums is boring. Yo, your verses is boring. You just not that nigga, bro. I, I don't I don't see it. Maybe because y'all went to school, you went to school with him and y'all grew up together. So he keeping giving you a job. And I appreciate you for that. But man, Boz was like the only thing lagging on the album. There's why a couple when I, of- why when I say that about Kendrick Lamar killed niggas kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, because you you I crazy. I was so bro. happy. You when was so Cole said your second album put us to sleep. I'm like, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. But I thought the project was good. I, I like, you know, it's yeah. just funny because I like the uh I don't know. I like the low tone khaki vibes. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's me. Like, it's like, bro, I don't really gotta do too much with you niggas. Like, let me mm. come here because just because I, I'm gonna show you I can do this easy. This is light work. So the pro the song that came on before uh seven minute drill it, it give like mellow vibes and i thought seven minute drill picked up a little bit yeah his mm-hmm. tone wasn't giving like i'm gonna kill i'm gonna kill you but i thought it picked up from the last song so i mean i, I don't know I, I see a lot of people saying they don't like the tone in it but i thought the beats was good yeah I, the beats you know, a, lot was of, a lot of people killed j cole for his beats i thought i thought both of the beats on seven minute drill was good i thought the whole project was good to be honest i think um he had the song with uh what was it central c on there i like that song mm-hmm. I like uh, um, what was it? Crocodile Tears. I like mm-hmm. uh, I like, bro. I this give is- it like 70, 30, 80, 20. It was fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, this I- nigga just said 80, 20. Yeah. Oh, you giving it an eight out of 10? I no, was no, I said 70 30 first, bro. I said 70 30 80 20. I'm with bro. you on the 70. I will go with you on the 70 30, but when you said 80 20, that's what I'm like. Oh, only because what you gotta understand it's coming from a J. Cole fan, though. Like, I can that's, listen, I can listen true. to Sideline Story right now. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm a J. Cole fan, I've been a J. Cole fan. Yeah, but I, yo, what one name one of his classic mixtapes? I can listen to Sideline Story. That's not a mixtape, though. Yeah. That's not a mixtape. That's a that's a a, 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 a pro, that's an album. I thought his first album was wait a minute. Come on, man. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's his first. I thought you was talking about the mixtape he dropped before that. No, what the fuck world, is this? Sideline story. Got you. He had Dial in the Dream on there. Can't get enough with Trey Songs. Lights, please. Oh my sideline story was fire. Mr. Nice Watch with Jay-Z. You really like Mr. Nice Watch with Jay-Z? Yes, I do. I mean, I do. I, I I like J. Cole though. That's why I said it's a J. Cole fan. Yo, I'm, I haven't been to, I might have been to like three concerts in my life. J. Cole concert was one of them. Got you. Great. I respect that. I respect that. I definitely, definitely respect that. 